Hey guys, I just want to wish you all a happy Friday. Hope you guys are hustling and making some money and getting some phones. Uh, I might go out in the boat today, just waiting for a friend to call me back. You know, that's how we do it down here. A year round. Um, I just want to make a quick video for you guys. Uh, I know a lot of you have been doing good, making a lot of money. Uh, a lot of you are still confused about the bad ESN and unlocked phones. Uh, and why I keep saying buy all your phones is bad ESN and sell them all is bad ESN. Now, this is definitely applies to anybody who is new. If you don't know why, I'm going to post some uh, links to my YouTube videos below and the free mini course. I suggest you guys watch all about the bad ESNs and selling phones uh, locally and stuff like that. Because uh, a lot of people are still making some mistakes as they obviously haven't watched all my videos. I make this YouTube channel and this in this uh, Phone Flipping 101 group. So people don't make the same costly mistakes that I've made in the past. Now, uh, just because it's a clean ESN phone does not mean it's unlocked. You can't sell those unlocked. Uh, I go over all this over and over. Um, a lot of people are rushing to get their first phones. They're not following the steps and they get back home and their phone is, you know, iCloud locked or there's a password on it or both. Um, I have videos step by step how to check the phone, you know, for iCloud lock, what to check for, what to look for when you're... When you're uh, buying the phone in person, I have the bill of sale that you guys have to use all the time and make sure you use that all the time. It's very important, uh, not just to cover your ass legally if anything ever comes back stolen or anything, uh, but eBay and PayPal will ask for invoices at some point. Um, sometimes it's pretty quick. Sometimes it's once you're more established, they'll still ask for uh, invoices. And the only invoices you're going to have for buying these phones are going to be your bill of sales. And they have worked. I've had to use them a few times. Um, so guys, like I said, you, you're, we're buying and selling and appraising all our phones as bad ESN. So we're not taking the time, especially if you're new, you don't need to take the time to ask the IMEI number up front uh, and all that. I mean, on newer phones, yes, I suggest you might want to run the IMEI front. I mean, but they're going to be nine out of 10 times. They're definitely going to be bad ESN still financed. Uh, but you guys know what I'm getting at. You need to make sure you're checking everything like I tell you. Before you buy your phones, I'm seeing a lot of people buying phones and they overpaid and they end up losing money. Now, the way I teach you guys, especially in the uh, full course, we're going to go over this starting uh, this Tuesday in the live uh, group chats for uh, members only in the private group. Uh, we're going to go over, you know, how to appraise to like never lose money. Worst case scenario is if something drastically wrong happens, you did something wrong, you still will not lose money the way I'm going to teach you how to appraise. Uh, but guys, just make sure you keep talking. Checking what you're supposed to check, you know, check for, make sure the Find My phone, iPhone is turned off. Make sure they're logged out of iCloud. You factory reset the phone, you can get back to the home screen. Check all the other things, you know, the speaker, the cameras, everything I tell you guys in the videos. And you will have a lot less mistakes and you won't lose any money and you will not get discouraged. There's great money to be made in phone flipping. Um, in the private group, obviously, I'm going to start talking about other things, how, how we flip in uh MacBooks and all other things. It's things to not even do with phones that you can get very, very cheap and make great profits. But obviously right here at this Phone Flipping 101 uh, part of it, I just stick with the basics Phone Flipping 101. So guys, I'm going to post some links below if anybody new who hasn't watched the YouTube videos or the free mini course. Uh, I'll actually put the link to the advanced course, the full course that walks you through everything and I don't hold anything back and you'll have access to the private uh, group for members only where we talk about anything and every single question is asked in full uh, Don't always believe all the information you're getting in here. I see a lot of people posting bad information um, I don't know if that's just the way they do things or they're just not experienced and they're just reading something somewhere on the internet uh, Without actually having experience and answering questions, you know, they're more book smart and not street smart I can understand that you might have read it somewhere. So you think it's uh, the right answer but there's a lot of bad information going around, guys. That's actually one of the main reasons why I had to make the full course. Uh, a lot of people were asking me about it because they were getting, you know, a lot of different answers for a lot of different questions and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, with that being said, uh, hopefully I'm going to go out on the boat today. And I might go to the west coast of Florida and sit on the white sands of the Gulf of Mexico again for the weekend. So if you don't hear from me, you don't see me online, you'll know where I'm at. You'll see some pictures of the sunset going down and all that. But guys, keep hustling, my friends.